Hey guys, we're gonna now work on the migrations. If you watched the first video in this series, you already have the database connection. Now we're gonna create the tables to be able to iterate the project. So for that, we need a migrate command, which uh, I'm gonna share it in the comment section. You can download it and start using it as well. And this has a create command we're gonna use, and we have to point the extension. So the migration files will be SQL. And we're going to say the directory will be migrations. And we have to point out as well the table name. So when we run this, you should be able to see the migrations here. And the only missing part we need to fill actually the SQL here. So we're going to say create table tasks. And we need the ID here. ID going to be is the primary key. We need a name as worker, which is going to be 200 characters. It has to be not null. And we're going to say owner can be worker as well. So let's say this is going to be 50 characters, not null. And priority will be integer and not null as well. And let's say default value is one. And also we need to make it item potent. So drop table if exists tasks. And we're going to use the same command in the down section as well. Now we have a second command, which is migrate. We're going to point out the database with the credentials in the Docker compost file and the path. The path was migrations and we're going to say up. And when we run this, priority should not have a comma in the end because it's the last line and we're going to run this. Now the task create tasks table executed. Now I'm gonna change the appearance and look at the here. I should be able to see the tasks table. Yeah, now that it's there are no records, but I can see the fields and the table is there. That's how we create the migrations. And we in the next video we're gonna take it from here and continue working with the database.